180! Ronnie Baxter versus Peter Wright here for a place in the quarterfinals. Kim Hybrex, a man who has just blown Mickey Mansell away 6 4. He awaits the winner of this one. Baxter straight into the treble 20 and just a <laughs> shaking out a little bit of tension, perhaps. 85. Keep fit with Ronnie Baxter. <laughs> yeah. Coming to a DVD bargain bin near you. <laughs> 41. Fitness and Ronnie Baxter doesn't seem to go in the same uh, sentence, to be quite honest. But uh, a brilliant dart player, no less. And has been for you know, 30 yards when I come into the game. Ronnie was already travelling to America and, and cleaning up over there. And he's a tough competitor. Another one of these players, you know, like, a bit like old school, as we call it, you know, the priestly style, just going to plug away and 60. plug away. And it's going to have to be, you know, that extra flair that Peter Wright has got. Um, if, he's, if Wright's going to win. Yeah, he's not exactly flown out the blocks in this one, Peter Wright. 100 scored after two visits to the board. 100. A little bit better from Ronnie there. He did come through a real battle, did Baxter, in the previous round. 6-5 winner over Ian White, taking out 80 in the final leg. To just turn things his way, he'd had an easier time against Dave Ladley in the first round. A 140. 6-1 winner. A couple of 6-3s for Peter Wright. John Bowles and then that Barney game, which is a real cracker. 132. Yeah, I think Peter Wright is very experienced now that he, he won't think just because he's beaten Barnevelt that he's automatically going to step up here and everything's going to happen. He knows that it's a different game, a different day, and he's going to have to still work hard as he puts in 180. the first maximum of the match. And puts Ronnie himself right 88. back in this leg. So Baxter may only get a dart at the bullseye. We're right if he does return. Well, Baxter's going to get two at double 14. And that is close. Well, 60. you couldn't put them any closer, to be fair. 80. They were right on the wire, but they weren't in. So now Peter Wright comes back. And that 180 has given him a chance to win the first leg. Yeah, 140 followed by a 180 for Wright. Got him back into this leg after a, a dodgy start and he's earned himself a shot at double top. He's having to come all the way over to the side here to open up that bed and try and get a breaker throw and get the first leg on the 40. board and he's gone high with it. Ronnie required 28. And will Ronnie Baxter afford him another opportunity? He missed two at double 14. He Game won't miss a third leg. time. Ronnie Baxter. Ronnie Baxter goes a Six leg up leg in this race first. to six. Right, won't be too overly disappointed with the first leg. 131. So he's got that experience now just to, to move on, get on with the game. The colour hair matches. 42. The shirt again. And we'll just have a quick look if we can see his laces. Apparently he has the same laces as his shirt and hair. That's Dapper. A, that, that's a wardrobe. Dapper. 60. I was going to give him my spats, my favourite shoes, but I don't think he'd get a shirt and the hair to match black and white. 140. You've got uh, white streaks in your shirt, Rod, so you've got it matching the hair. Well, I've got the white hair as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Back to business. 60. And Peter Wright only with a 60, and Ronnie Baxter has an opportunity now. 1, he's not really going to jump 59. on. 59. 59. Yeah, well, Wright's in there. He is a player like Gary Anderson that can move to the side, especially to the right-hand side, and still find the treble. There's a lot of players that just automatically go straight down the 19s, but Wright, you know, he can... Right-handed players can't move to the left-hand side very often. They just don't find it comfortable. You know, it, 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 it's unnatural to your body you movement. But moving to the right and coming across from the right to the left is a lot easier. And certainly, this man and, and Gary Anderson's actually excellent at it. 54. Well, two darts are left after 15 darts for Peter Wright. 55. Well, BT require 56. And a big one left by Ronnie Baxter. So, right. 
Looking at double top. He missed it in the first leg. He's missed it again, so now he wants double ten. 46. And just a little bit of trouble right early well, doors from Peter Wright in closing out these legs. A little sniff of an opportunity for Ronnie. It's not going to happen for him. But double five 48. isn't many people's favourites. It's no one's favourite, to be quite honest. That's right. Well, that's not a bad dart. Yeah. On the, second leg. the first dart Peter got it up high, got a bit of a range on it. The second dart, first. and that's a relief for Peter Wright because you don't want to start giving Ronnie Baxter too many chances to get a good lead because he is a very good front runner. Yeah, Kim Hybrick's awaiting the winner of this one. Ronnie knows all about Kim. As Peter Wright looks for his second maximum of the match. And there it is. Well, Fantastic stuff from do. Peter Wright. Jerry, it's great to see some of these players you know, in a good place in their head. You know, Peter Wright is Kim Hybrex. 85. It, oh, you know, they this we, we call about you know the confidence in your own ability and that's what they've got you see that from right the first leg he loses he don't worry about it he comes back wins the second leg easy and kicks off the third with 100. a maximum that's when it shows you that they're in a good place yeah certainly when Kim went on that run to the players championship finals he did meet Baxter in the quarter finals beat him 10-6 it was only Phil Taylor doing his usual brilliant stuff that managed to halt Hybrix run and hopes of lifting a first major title 105 solid stuff again from Peter Wright and this has brought him a chance to break the Baxter throw yeah, he's gone for that 25 to leave the 116 60. Which gives him two darts to the treble 20 and he needs to hit one he's got a dart at the double where if he'd have gone for the 20s he'd have had to go to the bullseye but he's going for four 19s which will leave him double top Oh, and he squeezed it in. That's 40 scored, 76 left, straight back up to the 20s. Sets 100. it up, absolutely perfect. Same Ronnie score for Baxter. Well, he is going to get a shot. Well, he's hit double 16 when he only wanted the single. 104. It left him double 12, and he Eight just one, come inside 16. of it. Probably shouldn't have been even anywhere near that double 16, should he, Ronnie? No, that's unusual for Ronnie as well. Game shot on the third that's leg. not unusual for Peter, Peter Wright at the moment to see a dart go Ball straight in the, the middle first. of the double. Game on. And a good 13 dart leg to break. And he did the same to Barnvelt. He got in front of Barnvelt and, you know, pressured him all the time. And Barney was just chasing and chasing. 84. And in the end, it does wear you down. And this man, Ronnie Baxter, he may beat him, but you ain't going to worry him whatever you hit. He just plays his own game, he's his own person. Yeah, it's only really the last particularly year, 18 months, but a couple of years where Peter Wright has really risen to prominence and 59. made the best of the talent he's gotten and become comfortable playing on the PDC. 14-4, Baxter leads in the head-to-heads. A lot of those games, you know, before this run of form that Peter Wright has put together. The last two games, in fact, have gone to decide in legs, both 6-5, win for each of them. So it wouldn't be a surprise if this one went the distance as well. well Peter Wright worked hard to nick the throw, and now he's not done anything in this leg. He's just gone off the ball on that treble 20. And Baxter's got the advantage now, so needs a 140. Another one of those gets him back in, although he'd have to come 140. 140. Won't leave him a shot. But it didn't matter what he did with that last start, it weren't going to leave him the shot. But by hitting the 140, Dan, what he's done, he's given him the best chance from six starts in than what Baxter's going to have. Of course, he'll have the first crack at having this at six darts and he's going to certainly get at least one dart of the double when he returns 80 leaves 79 maybe just a big 19 or so him. 137 double 11 well it's been a bit of a rescue act on this leg as you say 
Only one treble hit in the 80. first three visits. Is he required 22? It's a double 11 for Peter Wright, unless he decides to split it. I think he's going straight for it, and he is. Doesn't want to miss inside. Game and doesn't do. Peter I think Wright. that's a bit of relief as well, Dan, because when he would have hit the 57, I think he off. looked at going for the treble 13 to leave double top. Because he, he was thinking, I, I could hit this 57. The double 11 is not a great double. So, uh, you know, that's why he hesitated in that previous scoring. But as I said, he's in a good place at the moment. So a double is a double to him. It just shows you how confident he is. I, I, you know, I'm pretty sure he thought of going for them 13s because he knew he was going to hit 96. the 57. And that's, that's the confidence. Eighty-five. The unmistakable hair of Peter Wright. Ninety-nine. There's no way you're going to mistake him in any hall or crowd, are you? He's certainly not. Good run here. Buys a lot of peroxide. And Ronnie Baxter sticks in his first maximum of the match. Three grand guaranteed if you're in the quarters, five grand for the semis, 10 grand for the final, and 20 grand if you go and win the whole thing. Yeah, not bad work if you can get it, Dan. Yep. 58. We were going to play right, darts, but we're not going to take a play cut, though, are we? <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> the oldens are the best. 77. Not a bad leg from Ronnie here, and he certainly left Peter Wright trailing behind him. 100. Ronnie requires 100 60. will give him a chance if Ronnie can't take out this 60. 20 for tops. Just moving over. He's got another chance. 40. Well, Peter Ryan, missed darts, and it is a big one, but he took out 161 against Barney. A 148. Would really put him in the driving seat here. Oh, it's just below the treble bed. Certainly going to put the pressure on, though. Only required 20. And Baxter, not brilliant on his doubles in this match. Been missing a few. Oh, he does on a bit time. Ronnie Straight Baxter. in the double 10 for Baxter. Sick leg is Peter Gets to him throw back first. to 3-2, but Wright is a break of throw up. So Baxter's got to find a 12 dart leg very soon on the right throw. Sixty. Oh, just the sixty for Pisa, right? Does open the door for Baxter. Fifty-eight. He's Didn't punish taken. him, did he? No. You know, we talk about that a lot. You know, if you're gonna win against the throw, if your opponent goes off without hitting the treble, you've you've got to punish him. Because you know, like Peter Wright here, he's going to come back. One hundred and forty. That's exactly what Peter Wright has done. One hundred and thirty-four. The bottom of the board. To Peter Wright. In the eighties, players wouldn't dream of switching to those nineteens, but the players nowadays, not only brilliant on the treble twenty, as Peter Wright. Shows us they are excellent at hitting any treble on the dartboard. 59. ET require 121. Peter Wright now. Nice. We come from Stansted Airport. Obviously, we were going through fast track. And the guy said, Oh, where are you 47. going, Rob? You know, he said, Oh, snake bites just come through. You know, Using all, he used all their nicknames and not their proper names, which was which was nice. An absolute dart fan. And 83. He weren't a young fella either. You know, a, a great following all these players have got. God knows what Peter Wright's passport photo looks like. Double top he wants for a 4-2 lead. Gears and double top he gets. Leg. Peter Wright. And Peter Wright. Seven edging right closer and closer to a quarter-final matchup with Kim Hybrex. Ronnie Baxter, that's a perfect dart for him. He's followed up again. I'm not 
really sure why he hesitated. It 140. Ideal for him. Maybe he just fancied a better angle to come in and cannon into those two. Yeah, I think that's exactly right. Peter Wright's going to have to come to the left-hand side and what a return. There's plenty of room in there, isn't there? It 140. It's a good reply. Keeps the pressure on. But Baxter's in there again. 100. Yeah, you were talking about passports. I mean, Peter Wright must have as many passports as he's got dark shirts because <laughs> he's changing his hair. Thirty. Poor visit from right there, and it just allows Ronnie Baxter to just go and do his thing under no One pressure nine. whatsoever, and that's another maximum. His second of the match, fifth in total between the two players, and really does put him in the driving seat in this one. Oh, maybe Peter Wright can sneak one in himself. One yes, he can. Two. And that just reminds Ronnie, Ronnie that he's there and waiting. Followed a 180, a 30. That's Baxter. Game now. shot on the oh, seventh well, leg. Brilliant darts from Baxter. Baxter. 12 dart leg there. Our eighth leg is Peter to throw first. Game on. Right, hit a 180. The previous three darts were a 30. But Baxter, a 12 dart leg, literally unbeatable. So now Peter Wright, crucial that he holds on to his throw here. 91. Eighty-five. Disappointed after he put one in the trouble twenty there. Peter Wright is there, and he's there again, and he's looking for another maximum. It would have been his fifth of the match. He's having to switch back stuff. Probably go back up to the eighteens now. Fifty-seven. So a bad visit for Ronnie. So. A great chance for Wright to really get a lead in this leg. He will stay there and just pitch over the flight. Maybe switch in now. Finds 97. the treble 19 on the switch. He's going to get at least six darts from 188. 59. Not good enough from the rocket. And snake bite. Just wants to set this up perfectly. Another one of those would help. Well, 108 left. Lovely 140. stuff. Lovely stuff. Absolutely brilliant, that. Do you know what? I don't think he wanted to hit the 180 to leave the eight. You know, you split the fours, you're chasing the twos and the ones, but this is absolutely perfect, right? As Baxter, Peter as did right in the eight. previous leg, just to tell Baxter, just to tell Wright that I'm still around here. So double 16 to go one leg away. Big dart. Well, 32. a chance for Baxter Ronnie to get back in this game and get the throw. And he will have the throw in the next leg. Oh, that's a perfect dart if you're going to miss. Wants double top. Oh, a great check out from Ronnie Baxter. Peter Wright missing two darts at the double 16. And what a crucial time for, for Wright to go and miss. And what a great check out from Baxter. What well, advantage Ronnie Baxter here. He has the throw. He only needs to win two legs. And after doing everything right, Peter Wright. 100. Two missed darts, a double 16. Could end up costing in the match. He's going to maintain his focus. 60. Well, it's the first time that Peter Wright's actually been under pressure in this game. Yeah, he did lead 3-1, of course. And look at those averages now. 96. Edging closer and closer towards one another. And you've got to say that it's really Ronnie Baxter in the ascendancy. He's hit four maximums, Peter Wright. But that was the dart of a man who may be feeling the pressure. 41. Oh, there we have it. Right still up on the 180s and the 140s. Look at them stats. You wonder how he's, you know, only at four all. You would put 79. him well up. But you're right, Dan. The first time we've actually seen any pressure on Peter Wright. Oh, man.
maybe this is what he needs to get back on track. And it's another maximum, a fifth 180 of the game for Peter Royce. We said the last two times these guys played each other, it went to 6-5. Backs to one, one of them, Peter Wright one another. Could we be going the distance again? Needs to fire that 180 up with a 140. Gives him a dart at double top when he returns. 100. Well, he's going to leave him the same check out that Ronnie Baxter's just taken to make it 4 all. Well, no trouble here for Ronnie Baxter. 95. Really would have put Peter Wright with a great chance, but even so, 91 ain't easy. Peter Wright doesn't want to give Ronnie a chance at it. Just needs a one treble. That is very low in the bed. But it is the 20 he's got. And now he's bought himself a chance at double top. Double top to break back immediately. And then throw for the match. 100. Ah, Peter Wright. Ronnie required 91. Yeah, that was a very low dart, wasn't it? So Ronnie Bax, he's just taken out 120. He's going to fancy himself on this. He's gone for the 51. Now he wants to treble 14. He's missed it. 45 left. 59. 55 left. Peter I think he may have missed 20. count, or I have. So he comes back. For double ten, and that's the thing about going for that treble seventeen with the ninety-one. If he'd have gone for the bullseye, would have guaranteed himself a dart at the double. At the... Oh, He's and Peter Wright. You see how much that Peter means Wright. to him. I was saying about the ninety-one like route. Peter there is two first. ways. A lot of players go for the treble now because they think Game they're on. going to hit the tre one of the one treble in two darts. But going for the 25 or bullseye, you know, backs to hit the 25, he goes 16 balls. I guarantee that the last dart you're going to have at the board will be to finish the leg. 100. You're at least giving yourself a shot. Yeah. You talk yeah. to Eric Bristow and the old boy, you know, especially Eric, best counter in the game. He'll always tell everybody to go that way. 60. Well, the bottom line is Ronnie Baxter threw 18 darts in that leg on his own throw and he didn't get a shot to win the leg. And after you stuck with Peter Wright all the way through this game. You finally got the break with a, a big check out of 120, having hit a 180 100. to set it up. You've done the hard work. And then you allow him to steal a march on you on your own throat. And 44. Peter Wright now really does have a golden opportunity to put this game to bed and book his place in the quarterfinals of the Dutch Darts Masters. 81. Yeah, all right needs is one big treble with every visit now. Let's force some Baxter into a, a 180 or minimum 140. And he's not done that, so now right. Well, it's right to lose. Sixty. Oh. Probably doesn't matter, but we have seen legs so far this match where a player pulls a big score out just to drag themselves back into it. 60. PT require 160. Well, at least six darts from here. He'll take just a straight ton. Now, he's got 62. 98 left. Go for that. Leaves the bullseye. So he's definitely going to come back for two darts and a double, and all Baxter can do. A 180 puts a bit of pressure on. 140. Well, 140 is still there, but Peter Wright, take your pick of doubles, Peter. I don't think you'll be going straight for ball. And he's going for double 16, two darts at it for the match. Double 80 wants, and double Game 80 gets. Shot. Peter Wright closes out a 6 4 win against Ronnie Baxter. Baxter stuck with him and it looked for all the world like he'd done enough to give himself a real chance of causing a bit of an upset. But the fourth seed, Peter Wright, has booked his place in the quarterfinals of the Dutch Darts Masters. Oh, no!